Okay, friends, bust out your velvet, velveteen or velour because it's cocktail hour and today we're making the Velvet Elvis. Now, if you Google Velvet Elvis, a series of paintings will pop up. This is a style of painting where people paint pictures of Elvis on some velvet. It is considered a prime example of the kitsch style. Songs have been sung about these by everyone from Casey Musgraves to Weird Al Yankovic. Some examples are not that flattering. And some are pretty cool in that kitsch sort of way. There's also a plant called the Velvet Elvis. I can't for the life of me find out why it's called that or when it was named that or by whom but it's purple and velvety and kind of nice, so I'll allow it. But let's get cracking on this cocktail. You need to get yourself a cocktail shaker and fill it with ice. Once you've done that, you want to add one and a half shots of Tennessee whiskey. And a half. Then you want to add one shot of black raspberry liqueur. Chamblant, for example. It's like candy and more candy. Then we're going to add half a shot of lime juice, freshly squeezed, of course. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to give this a good shake. Then we want to strain it into an old fashioned glass filled with ice. And top that up with lemon lime soda, such as 7up or Sprite. I'm gonna garnish this with a lime wedge. And there you have it, the Velvet Elvis. Looks pretty appetizing. Bottoms up, as they say. You know what, that's pretty nice. Tastes vaguely of whiskey. The Chambord kind of just softens the whole thing, but it's not Sickly sweet. I quite like that. I think I'd make that again. The Velvet Elvis. Give it a try.